Hello everyone, it's James from Keeping It Anime, and today let's talk episode 11 of We Never Learn, the anime series. Yes, I know this video is probably going to be a bit late than, you know, when the episode aired, but nevertheless, let's talk about it. So in this episode, Miss Kirisu steals the show, and if you're a fan of this character, and you love cosplay, then you're going to love this episode. Thanks to a bit of a tug of war between Azumi and Miss Kirisu, after Miss Kirisu finds out that Yuiga is going to this maid cafe, um, then this leads to the maid cafe having a maid down. Because while Azumi and Kirisu are fighting over um, Yuiga, basically, like where, they go where is he going to go? Is he going to stay or is he going to go somewhere else? Miss Kirisu bumps into one of the other maids. And as a result, um, Miss Kirisu has to put on a maid's outfit and try and perform the maid's duty. And before you guys start to worry, nope, Azumi is perfectly fine. She is not the maid that is hurt in this episode. So, yeah, the birth of a clumsy maid, as they call it. Miss Kirisu, all she has to do is clean. Yep, I'm talking about Miss Kirisu right here. She just needs to clean, right? What could go wrong? Well, I mean, you guys have seen her apartment. It's not clean. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Thanks to um, thanks to Miss Kirisu and her mishaps, she starts to see what makes Yuiga so great. And that really is the fact that he will give 100% to other people when helping them out. And she starts to admire that trait within him. And then she gets super drunk and starts to compliment um, everybody and everything. Like, she's complimenting Yuiga about the way he does things, about how great he is, about how he can wear glasses great. And she is a very weak drunk. She gets drunk very quickly. So then, that's basically the first part of the episode. Miss Kirisu in a maid outfit while she tries to see what makes Yuiga um, so loved by these characters that we have already been introduced and why they want him around. So, as it stands, Yuiga is still allowed to go to the maid cafe, um, but Miss Kirisu has ordered him to be out and gone by 9pm. Okay, fine, whatever. And when you think that the Miss Kirisu antics in this episode have finished, we get another batch in the second half. Kirisu has to go to school during the summer break to get some documents, but she has no clothes available to wear. All of her suits are in the dry cleaners and all of her track suits have been put out to wash. She does have one outfit available and that is a school uniform. Yep. So, if you like cosplay again, and you like Miss Kirisu, you're going to see her in a school outfit in this episode. After a policeman stops her in order to get a better understanding as to why a teacher slash adult is wearing a kid's uniform, our main protagonist saves the day by telling the policeman a good story explaining the situation. It was quite a good story. I mean, Yuiga said it was part of a drama class. And then we get a very comical scene of Miss Kirisu driving like a speed demon. So, we get to this scene and we're like, oh, cool. Kirisu can drive. Fair enough. Let's see her. She must be a pretty good driver, I can imagine. And then she just floors it. She's going over the speed limit, everything. I'm surprised that policeman didn't come back. After all this, we then get a game of hide and seek. In where if Kirisu and Yuiga are seen by anybody at the school, or outside of school, then the repercussions could be dangerous. Obviously, because she's a teacher in a school uniform, with a student, you, you know, that type of thing. But what I loved about this scene even more, was how they skillfully avoided Fumino and Rizu. And what came after that. So in order to avoid Furuhashi and Rizu, Yuiga quickly thinks on his feet and makes it look like they're kissing behind where they're sitting, which freaks Furuhashi out and they both start running away. 
But then the real kicker happens, and I think this comes after the outro. Yeah, it comes after the outro. So if you carry on watching, you will see that the one person in this entire series that you would not want to see, or curiously would not want to see, in the uniform. And that one person is Azumi herself. Azumi Koenami. The two characters, Azumi and Kirisu, they have a good dynamic. And they showed that in the first half, you know, they play off each other quite well. They're former student and teacher. And we also know that Azumi is a great tease. And just the facial expression and the comments from Azumi afterwards when she saw Kirisu in the outfit was just some of the best comedy from this episode. But guys, the second half of this episode wasn't all comedy. We learn a bit more about Kirisu as a character, and in fact, we see that and are told that she didn't have much of a social life when it came to her school um, career as such. Because the reason for this, her figure skating always took priority. Which meant she missed out on going out with friends after school, um, you know, going to the arcade or grabbing ice cream or having a romantic time. You know, she missed out on all of that. And even in this, Yuriga still wants to help her out because that's why he bought her the ice cream. To kind of give her that slight experience. He even oversteps the boundaries and calls himself friends, which he regretted straight away, but oh well. So this episode does give us a lot of comedy, but it does also give us a good look into Kirisu as a character just that little bit more, and that's something I can appreciate. I love it when they do like really good light-hearted comedy, edic, comedic, sorry, episodes, but then they still give us these bits of traits and add-on and development and qualities that we can actually put towards the character, so it's not just a light-hearted comedy episode, but something that intrigues us a bit more to keep us going, to keep us invested within the character that we're actually focusing on. So all in all guys, if you're wanting a really good laugh, then by all means watch this episode. If you're a fan of Kirisu, watch this episode. If you're a fan of the series in general and you haven't seen it, then you probably are going to want to watch it so you don't miss anything. But hey, it was a good episode, loved the comedy, loved the animation and the art styles, Character designs were great as well. Um, the only slight nitpicks I would have would be the fact that the school uniform and the maid's outfit conveniently fitted Kirisu. Oh well, what are you going to do? Anime, logic. Not really logical. But guys, that was an enjoyable episode and I would gladly watch it again. If you've enjoyed this review, smash that like button, subscribe so you never miss a video from me. And until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day, and well, keep it anime. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.